Happy day. Welcome to Edu Skills OET Made Easy. Our mission is to make you fall in love with OET learning process. If you are watching this on YouTube, kindly consider subscribing the channel and give us a thumbs up, like our work, and please do share the video. So again, happy to be with you all, and it's really a wonderful journey along with you. And I know many of you are beginners in this batch, and special welcome here, feel at home. This is your platform. And major challenges. What are your challenges? Now, the basic challenge you will have is no patience. You will not have patience. You will be just rushing through the materials. You will be just satisfying yourself or getting into an illusion of competency, uh, uh, practicing so many materials, maybe every day, three, four materials, and you feel I am doing something great. But no, we will tell you what is our strategy, and we'll go step by step, slow and steady, and making everything clear. And that is the basic quality that you need for success in OET is patience. Yeah, so patience is the key word. You should have patience, go slow. And normally I tell the people, you see people go on to exams, tests, book tests so many times. And there are so many aspirants who come to me saying that I have booked three dates. And like uh, then ask, they ask me to pray for them. I say, you know, I did not pray for you to fail the exam because first and second attempt you have uh, decided to fail. That's why you have booked two, uh, three dates. So there is no meaning in doing those things. As on my analysis goes, it's almost 6.5% we had uh, OET results last year in India. Almost like the six to seven candidates out of 100 candidates make it up. So it's a waste of money and waste of time. Instead of doing five attempts, why don't you spare one or two or three months extra and learn properly and be competent and go on. So doing a lot of uh, practices, uh, getting a lot of materials and doing hard work will create only an illusion of competency. And that's not the real competency, which you are fighting with. So have patience. And booking exam dates without preparation, as I told you. Quality practice, we concentrate on quality practice, but most of the aspirants are into quantity of practice. How many reading I did, how many writing I did. These are the, not the criteria, how well, how good, quality practice you have done or how well you have understood the task that you have done is the thing whereby you have to do the analysis of each task and identify your uh, weak areas of language competency and get it rectified, get it, uh, get the mentoring and corrections, then proceed for which we will be giving the steps what you are supposed to undergo. And if you have any doubts, we'll be giving you a chance to ask you questions even in vernacular multilingual when a session we'll have, you can note down those points where you want more explanation or an explanation in Malayalam or other in a vernacular language. Fourth one is inability to fall in love with the learning process. The basic thing you need to fall in love with the learning process, you should understand OET is something that gives you life. It's almost like as equivalent as your uh, nursing knowledge or health knowledge. As being as the professional, you know about nursing, what are the things in nursing you have to do. So also it's equally important to have the communication quality when you reach another country. When you deal with native speakers, you need to have a high quality of communication. Otherwise, it's a very challenging and it's insulting. And you even it leads to demotion in your career. So make it fall in love with the learning process and learn English for life, not for OED. Okay. And five, fifth challenge that you will face is several mentors or no mentoring. There are several mentors. You will get into all the institutes, all the all the platforms, all the um, what you call telegram groups, and you will have so many mentoring, so many types of teaching, and you will be confused. Ultimately, you may not have clarity on anything. So either choose one mentor. I don't say me or anyone. You can choose any one mentor. And sometimes also people have no mentoring. They go on in their own way. That also leads to uh, challenges or getting low grade in OET. Sixth one is misled by social media and marketing strategies. You know, because of Corona, there are so many people, hundreds of people who have lost their maybe OET for six to 10 times. They could not make it up. Then they said, we'll make some money uh, teaching OET or going into YouTube videos. And you can find a lot of issues, classical mistakes in so many videos. And you should know the quality of the person or qualification of the person who is teaching or uh, uh, presenting the teaching in the social media. So beware of that. 
Otherwise, you will have a lot of confusions, a lot of uh, uh, mistakes which were taught as right things. And seventh one is no English culture. There should be English culture, as I say, if possible, listen to some uh, all English audios whenever you work, when you work in the kitchen or when you are alone or so, whatever. You start, start, even you can talk to yourself in English or you can imagine that you are teaching somebody. So try to create a culture, English culture, listen English news. And if possible, listen, don't look at the TV, but just listen from, uh, from the backside of the TV or from far away, just listen to the uh, TV news so that you, uh, you get listening competency. So also try to read some medical journals, general reading everywhere, try to create a culture, English culture for a couple of months, which will help you a lot in your competency. And study groups limited, I call it study groups limited means there are so many people who get into small study groups when they get introduced to other people, they start practicing together. But the experience, my experience says they remain like a ghetto and they go to a certain extent beyond that they are not able to improve because all of their quality is same, competence is almost same. There is a level for it. So they will, though they practice and they're happy about the practice, it creates a illusion of competency. When they appear for the exam, the lack of mentoring or corrections will definitely lead them into problems in their scores or grades. And another challenge is aiming grade B. If you are aiming grade B, believe me, majority of them get 340, 330, 320 because they are aiming at grade B, 350. Please don't do that mistake but always aim at 450 A grade. You know, if you are aiming at grade B in the listening, for example, in reading, when you get around 30 to 31, your subconscious mind says, okay, I am cool, I am competent. Then you get satisfied with the competency, you book your exams and you write your exams, you know, as you get into the examination atmosphere with all the fear and stress and tension, you are not able to make it up. So always try for target or aim for 450, at least if you don't get A, and definitely you can get A grade. If you can't get, definitely you'll be somewhere around 390, 400, 410, 420. So attitude, selfishness is another thing that is a big challenge for you. As you become more and more selfish, you will remain in your own personal ghetto and you will not be able to grow more. So try to build up empowering attitude, support each other and be, uh, help each other. And that is the motto of this, uh, this platform. This is the only platform ever in the universe you can see. Definitely there is no other platform which gives 100% nonprofit platform and managed by the health professionals.